Hello. Today I kind of want to just talk about uh, some of the James Bond movies. Um, I, I guess specifically the Daniel Craig era. Um, you know, uh, last year, of course, is the end of uh, his time as James Bond. And, um, and I have uh, all five of his uh, films. Actually, they're the only James Bond films I even own. Um, I've seen others on TV. Uh, one of the first was... Uh, oh, GoldenEye. Yeah. And uh, since I've seen various others, but the, the ones that, that really have stuck with me are uh, the Daniel Craig films. You know, beginning with Casino Royale in 2006... I don't know, there's something about it that I just really enjoyed. And um, I've never really talked about James Bond much on my channel because it's not something I'm a huge fan of. Um, uh, now, I do enjoy uh, the films I have seen. You know, I do enjoy the Daniel Craig films. Um, but, <clears throat> uh, you know... For me, uh, growing up, it wasn't a thing my family, you know, watched often. It wasn't something that, you know, it wasn't like Star Wars, which I've talked about quite a bit, where that was sort of a thing in uh, my family. Like, you watch, sort of like watch Star Wars. That's something that uh, our family did. Um, and also Batman, though. It was a little later that I realized... Uh, other family members of mine really liked Batman, uh, you know, but you know, so that was kind of something that was really cool to find out. But you know, there are certain you know, uh, uh, movie, TV show, sort of franchises that you know people seem to kind of have as they get uh, grow up. Um, uh, for me, it was like Star Wars and Batman. Uh, James Bond was something where, if it was on TV, you'd watch it perhaps, you know, if nothing else was on. Um, but if something else was going to come on at some other time, <clears throat> or maybe there's a certain time we're going to watch a specific film, you know, if had like a, back in the days of like VHS or DVD, you know, or those were more common, you know, you know, sort of have a set of time for watching, you know, uh, those movies or that movie or whatever it would be and then you know of course like change the channel or uh, put the uh, 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 VHS tape or DVD into the player and then watch the movie um, but yeah um, since I now have all of the James Bond films that Daniel Craig was in, I kind of thought, you know, one day I'll probably will talk about these individually at some point. Um, no word in the near future, but some point, I'm sure. So, for anything like that, uh, I guess just stay tuned. Uh, don't know when that will happen, though. But, you know, uh, of course, there's Casino Royale. Uh, really good film, um, uh, entertaining from beginning to end, uh, very good introduction, you know, this is the first true, uh, reboot that James Bond has ever had, um, you know, there have been other films, of course, where, obviously there's a new actor as James Bond, but, you know, sometimes some of the other characters supporting or minor characters might recur in other films, um, uh, <clears throat> Judy Dench, for instance, was in some of the uh, Bond films before Daniel Craig showed up um, as M. Uh, so there is that, but you know, for this, this is a complete reboot. I remember hearing that the one reason they made the film the way this is, and of course the subsequent sequels to this for Daniel Craig was, you know, Batman Begins did a very good job of rebooting Batman, you know. It was able to get it being 
dark and serious. And so for Bond, they wanted it to be you know, a little more serious because there are some films in, or entries that aren't as serious as some others. You know, there's still, I think there are still some fun moments throughout the Daniel Craig films, but, you know, there is, it is more serious. You know, not as, you know, you know not as fun for, uh, uh, compared to some of the other films. Um, I know sometimes that kind of bothers people. Like, they don't want James Bond to be always completely 100% serious and all that. Um, and I understand that. Uh, though, you know, sometimes it's uh, kind of a good thing to change it up a bit. That way it doesn't stay the same and then therefore st uh, stale the franchise and make people kind of uh, over it and want something new and different. And then when something new and different happens, you know, the response can be, you know, mixed. Uh, uh, to say the least. So... Very good outing for Bond, or for Daniel Craig as Bond. Um, very good uh, first film, and um, yeah, I just, I enjoy this uh, quite a bit. Um, and then it was Qu Quantum of Solace. Um, I th th this is a film that I probably have the most mixed feelings of. Um, I don't think it's a bad film, necessarily, but I don't you know, love it, if that makes sense, compared to, like, some of the other entries here, like, um, uh, Casino Royale, and then from the others, or, like, another one <laughs> I'll mention sh soon, um, but as time has gone on, I've, um, I I've appreciated this film more and more, and I, I'm able to enjoy it, uh, uh, more, um, that's something I've found out with some of these films where, you know, where I enjoy them, but, you know, maybe not as much as some of the others. And I think this is, it's like, you know, as, um, if enough, t as time goes on and, you know, you rewatch these, I find some more enjoyment in some of these, like, such as Quantum of Solace. Not my favorite, but, you know, not bad uh, in the sense of, I don't ever want to watch it ever again, and unless I'm going to do a marathon where I watch every single one. Um, it's not like that. Uh, every so often I'll watch it, um, and it kind of grows on me. Um, yeah. I know this was disappointing at the box office for sure, as well as some fans were fairly disappointed. But, um, you know, it's bound to happen, unfortunately. Um, And then next is Skyfall. I wish I had seen this on the big screen, um, but I didn't. Um, I saw Lincoln uh, twice. Um, first I went with my mom, because she was curious about it, and we saw it. it was a fine film. And then my friends and I, we went to see Lincoln again. Um, and But, you know, well... Again, I thought it was fine. Um, I remember one of them mentioned we probably should have seen Skyfall. I'm like, yeah. Probably would have been really good, but, you know. Uh, I waited and got this on Blu-ray, and it was a very excellent film. You know, really one of my favorite Bond films. Um, perhaps my favorite of uh, Daniel Craig uh, uh, era, if I had to just pick one off like right off the top of my head I probably would say Skyfall very good entry very entertaining um, uh, very you know very well done um, from beginning to end performances and everything um, I just enjoy it I really think it's a very good film um, then is Spectre a film that is very, you know, mixed. I'll be honest and say I think it's a fine movie. This is the first uh, Bond film I've ever seen in the theater. Um, and so perhaps that also has an influence on my uh, takeaway with this. You know, never thought it was really bad. 
not my favorite, but, you know, I thought it was a very fine movie. And considering for a while, Daniel Craig wasn't sure if he wanted to do a fifth one like his contract had, you know. I know he was a bit disappointed with this because he thought that they kind of rushed it after Skyfall. Like, maybe they should have waited another year to then film it. So perhaps they should have filmed it in 2015 and then the film, you know, come out in 2016. Um, but I think this is a fine movie uh, overall, regardless of how that, uh, you know, Christoph Waltz was very good in the film. Um, uh, really, uh, really enjoyable film, I thought. Uh, you know, for beginning and end, very entertaining. Um, and then, of course, No Time to Die. This is like from the Walmart one. Um, kind of a cool case thing. And, um, it, uh, opens up and then has the special edition Blu-ray with this little, uh, mask and all that here. Of course, we can, uh, take it out. I mean, I just put this back in just for this video, honestly. I've had it for a while, but I, I haven't gotten rid of the plastic thing here yet because I wanted to make this video. And, you know, I'll probably put the keychain thing somewhere else. I don't know where. Probably won't have it as my keychain, but, you know, somewhere. It'll be somewhere. Um, uh, for no time to die, you know, a lot has been said about this film. Specifically the ending and um, On the off chance you have not seen this film, you know, it is the latest and some people didn't see it in theaters um, Some people may have just Gotten it not too long ago and You know, but yeah, I mean I don't want to have any spoilers to anybody who has not seen this film yet, but uh, the ending, if you know you, what happens, then, yeah, that's really a big talking point. Um, I thought this film was fine. Uh, I think with Quantum of Solace also, like, this is a film that, uh, the more I watch it, I think I'll, uh, it, it, there'll be some uh, sort of appreciation, more enjoyment. That was fine. Um... But yeah, they um, they did end a, a uh, 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 James or Daniel Craig's James Bond in such a way that uh, it was a very uh, a, 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 an ending that was very uh, yeah it was an ending. I'll just say that. Uh, I don't want to say too much and perhaps give away the ending if people haven't already seen it. Um, but, you know, I think as time goes on with some of these entries that I'm not the biggest fan of, I think as time goes on, I will, you know, be able to enjoy them more. Um, and I like movies like that where, you know, whether I thought a film was fine on the uh, from seeing it. Oh, and I did see No Time to Die in the theater. I saw it just before it left theaters because I wasn't able to see it right away. Also, I thought it was a really bad idea that they even released it in October. For me, that's like horror month. Like, if I'm gonna see a film, I'm gonna watch a horror film, not James Bond. That's not James Bond time, in my opinion. It's horror film time and that's why you see a lot of horror movies get released in October and they don't really you know I think if James I think this film would have perhaps done better if released in November um that's me um but you know uh, I, I was able to see it and I thought it was a fine movie um you know perhaps later on uh, I rewatch all these my impression of it could perhaps uh, be better. Uh, one thing about 
these films is uh, they they want they're they're trying to have a continuity from the Casino Royale to you know No Time to Die from beginning to end and I kind of like that um, though it's obviously there really wasn't a complete plan from the beginning I think had they had a plan from the get go you know whether or not they would have uh, kept the same writers for all of these films you know that's one thing but if they had at least a initial outline you know like no that Daniel Craig is gonna like whoever is gonna be the next bottle like okay well they're gonna have like a like a they're gonna do a total of five films that's what their contract is so after Casino Royale and make some sort of connections to to some way to where the continuity and the flow of it would be you know perhaps a uh, a little better uh, if that makes any sense um, that way because that's one thing that people do criticize these films for <clears throat> it's like they're trying to have a continuity which while itself isn't bad it, but you know considering it wasn't really planned out from the get-go it's like they're trying to fill in certain gaps retro actively instead of well these were sort of in place before and now we're kind of maybe having a callback here or two with as each entry goes on um uh, and i know i've talked about the dark knight trilogy quite a bit but you know i know that christopher nolan doesn't ever plan <clears throat> Uh, to ever have sequels but he did plan early on or at least I guess uh, float of the notion would be more accurate of wanting to be cool to have do like a trilogy and he and David Goyer sort of talked about it a little bit uh, about what could happen from from Batman Begins to sort of where he would end up in a third film if they were able to do three if they were fortunate enough to do so um, but then, not long after they sort of briefly discussed that, they then sort of like uh, nixed that idea because, you know, it's like they wanted to focus on the film at hand and then not try to sort of pigeonhole themselves to, well, we're planning to do three films, and so let's plan it all out right now. Because, you know, there was no guarantee they would get to do more than one. And, you know... You know, perhaps you could say the same here. Um, whether or not they ever try try to have a continuous story with James Bond in these films, I don't know. I, I don't think that was really the case. At least I haven't seen anything to really back that up much. Um, other than Dana Craig was going to do four sequels to Casino Royale. Or at least that's what his contract was uh, uh, said. Um, so... You know, he uh, uh, was up for a total of five films, and he uh, honored that contract. And he, uh, you know, I think he did a really good job. Um, he's my favorite Bond. I know a lot of people love Sean Connery, and nothing against Sean Connery. He's a legend. He's the first Bond, and, you know, and nobody can ever take that away from him, really. Um, I've heard some people are like, you know, there was some TV stuff with Bond, I've heard, and um, I don't know too much about that, though. I know big screen, though, it was Sean Connery first, and he did a fantastic job. Um, and, um, or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Or something with a, a famous book character that was put to screen uh, very prominently. I believe it was James Bond, but or maybe that was uh, no. I think it was Bond. I was going to say Sherlock Holmes, but that wasn't right. Uh, yeah, I think it was Bond at least. Uh, I could be cor uh, completely wrong, but yeah, there might have been some sort of adaptation early days with like in the fifties, some sort of. Uh, show 
like maybe like an anthology thing or something where they would have like a sort of adaptation and somebody would be like James Bond or maybe if they didn't use that character's name, uh, the name Bond, they might have had something else. But people who have read the books would know that that character is James Bond, even if he didn't go by that name. Um, you know, James Bond has had a, quite a legacy. So many movies, 25 films, um, 21 through 25. I'm sure one day I will probably get like a 4K set of all of the, all of the films, which will then include these uh, four or five <laughs> films. I don't know why I said four. Because it's been a, such a while since, uh, you know, I, I called them four films, but, you know, now they're five. But, you know, um, I'm sure they, I, I will, um, once as time goes on, you know, they'll have 4K uh, releases and stuff, like box sets and such, uh, come down in price. I'll probably get, you know, at a reasonable price, all 25 uh, films on 4K, Blu-ray, and uh, <clears throat> and all that good stuff. I'll, uh, you know, because I don't own any of the other ones on Blu-ray. Not all, just these. Uh, but I do see them, uh, those films, the other films, stream elsewhere, so I'm able to uh, see them if I'm ever in the mood for them. And I'm like, you know, I want to watch one of these uh, films. Um, but yeah, uh, I enjoy Daniel Craig's James Bond. I've heard that's not a very popular thing to say. I guess if you're a big Bond fan, that's not, I guess, what is preferred for one to uh, enjoy. Um, like, uh, yeah, like he's not supposed to be one's favorite. It seems like as a collective whole, from what I've noticed, it's not popular to like uh, Daniel Craig's Bond as the best or as your favorite. Um... But these are the films that really got me really more interested in James Bond than some of the other films that did. Uh, GoldenEye was really good. Um, but, you know, uh, I don't know. Because of uh, these films getting me really introduced, uh, I guess a little more properly, to <clears throat> uh, James Bond, uh, I think, if anything, that will always sort of like a they'll always have a certain special place in my heart. Um, and, uh, yeah. Nothing else to really say. Um, but, yeah. Do you enjoy these films? Do you think they're fine? Do you think uh, any of them are bad? Do you think all of them are bad? Leave me your thoughts if you'd like. Um, and, uh, I hope... All of you are doing well. Hope all of you are having a uh, have had a great week. Hope your day will go well, and I hope all of you will have a great week and then a great next week. Um, yeah. See you all next time. Take care.